So I want to mess with visibility of items on a page. Um, in JavaScript, I have this little page set up that has two divs on it, a first div and a second div. Um, here's my code thus far. I've just got these two divs. They have se separate IDs from each other, so I can grab them. They're each 200 by 200 pixels with a background color of red and a margin of 1%. Um, so in order to actually see this happen, um, I'm going to basically make clicking on one of the divs make the other one change its visibility. So I'm going to select on um, the second one, and I'm going to hide it. And there is a property in CSS called visibility, and I'm going to set this guys to hidden. And what you'll see now is that when I start this, only the first div is showing. So let's add a listener to that first div. Uh, well, uh, first, and let's have it um, add a click listener. And what it's going to do is, oops, I would like it to grab hold of the second div. Let me just grab this so I can edit it easily. So let's make the second one change that property. So style dot visibility equals uh, visible. Okay, let's try it. Press the page, click. Now I see the second one. Um, let's go ahead and make it so the second one. In fact, let's do this. Let's have this guy also hide himself. Um, that style, that visibility equals chicken. Oh, there goes the dogs. And then let's make the opposite happen. So if I click on two, oh, second, let's show first and hide second. So they will basically toggle each other on and off. Let's see what that looks like. All right, here's clicking first, here's clicking second, here's clicking first, here's clicking second. Um, you'll notice something about using visibility. It doesn't actually remove that, that content from the page. It just um, has it basically taking up space still, but not showing. But perhaps I don't want it to keep its space. Um, and so in that case, I'd have to mess with a different property, and that's display. So I'm going to have, instead of visibility hidden, I'm going to have display none. And let me just verify that that works. So here we are. Refresh the page. Yeah, only the first one's still showing. So let me edit my code down here um, so that it messes with display instead of um, visibility. So the default display for a div is block. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that back to that and have this guy change display to none. And then change these two guys as well. In fact, let me just copy the rest of the line here and edit it. Okay, and copy the rest of this line. And edit it. All right, save this guy. Oops, save this guy. Refresh the page. Let's see what this looks like. So here's my first div. Click it. It's gone. There's my second div. And notice it looks like it's in the same position because the first div, when the display is set to none, is not taking up any space. So if I click this guy, we should get my first one back. Yeah, so they are toggling. Um, their display properties on and off, and they are, when they're not displayed, not taking up any real estate on the page.